But what did Gideon do? What did he do before he went out to war? He first cleaned up the idolatry within himself. He first cleaned up his own camp. He looked inside, and that's really what Israel needs to do now. Israel needs to look inside and clean up our own idols before we think we can really go out to war. Now, I want to tell you guys a story. There was a family here, members of our fellowship from Ohio, and they came to visit us on the farm. And he said, I want you to know that the other day I went up to the Temple Mount and I was walking around Jerusalem and the Temple Mount was so powerful for me. And I want you to know that as I walked around Jerusalem, I didn't see a city of righteousness. And you're called to be God's people. And Jerusalem is called to be a city of righteousness. And I just saw a lot of Los Angeles in Jerusalem. I saw a lot of New York in Jerusalem. You know, you're God's chosen people, chosen to build God's kingdom, and Jerusalem is his capital. And right now, Jerusalem is not what it should be. And I really took that to heart. And I think that Israel now has a lot of tshuva that we need to do. Because obviously, everything that's happening to us is happening for us. And so a lot of things are happening. Thousands of Jews are leaving Israel now. All those people that were protesting against the judicial reform, and they were sort of secular, nihilist, not really Jewish in their identity, and they wanted Israel to be some sort of Hebrew-speaking Canada, they're all leaving the country. Because if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the Torah, why would you be here putting your life at risk with these genocidal Hamas terrorists and sending your children into the army? And at the same time, over 200,000 Israelis have flown into the war zone to try to enlist in the army, that have tried to make Aliyah, that are trying to volunteer here. And so imagine what a sifting process is happening. Those that are leaving and those that are coming. And so an internal process is happening here within the people of Israel. It's like a sifting process. I think it is the prophet Malachi that says that we're going to be refined like gold and silver. The way you refine gold and silver is you put it in the fire. And then the impurities fall away. And then finally, pure gold comes out. And so Israel right now, if we really see, um, try to see the world with, you know, Messiah eyes, that we're being put in the fire now and a refinement is happening. But we need to refine ourselves in this process. Like we will not be able to go out to war 300 people against a nation or David against Goliath until we clean out the idols inside us.